So trig word problems are sometimes triangles that aren't drawn yet, but we got to turn that word problem or that diagram, if they give us a diagram, into a right triangle problem. Now I've actually drawn a triangle out here for you, but here's how it kind of goes. If you're standing 30 feet away from a tree and are looking at the top of the tree at a 20 degree angle, how tall is the tree? So you turn it into a right triangle, you've got uh, an opposite side H, you've got an adjacent side 30, and you've got an angle 20. It means you want to use tangent. So there's your tangent set up, tangent 20 degrees equals H over 30. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Cross multiply to solve, punch it into your calculator. So there's the cross multiply, multiply both sides by 30. And you get 10 point nine one nine one so ten point nine two feet tall. What you might not know is you can you know also find the width of a river you don't know. And you can't cross the river, you know, it's, it's really deep, it's running fast. But if you can find something on the other side and you can create a ninety degree triangle as we've got going here, you can find how far across the river. Again, across the river is going to be an opposite. We've got an adjacent and an angle. Tangent. So tangent 40 degrees equals x over 30. x is the opposite side of our triangle. 30 is our baseline, is our adjacent side. Um, so then cross multiply. Now put it into your calculator. Alrighty, so we, now we just got a word problem. You got to turn it into a right triangle. Um, you got a kite, you got 300 feet of string out, you got a 70 degree angle to the ground. So draw a triangle that's uh, representing it. You want to know how high the kite is. So there's a drawing. Yeah, I didn't draw the kite, sorry. Uh, 300 feet of string, that's hypotenuse. H is an opposite. 70 is our angle, so we want to use sine. So there's your formula, sine 70 equals h over 300, that's opposite over hypotenuse. Um, cross multiply, put it in your calculator, come up with an h. Do all that, you find that the height of your kite is 281.9 feet up. Pretty high. So we've got a handicap ramp. There is a certain angle they've got to make, and I think I looked it up one time, and it was 5 degrees is the largest angle they're allowed to make, otherwise it's too hard to use. Um, you got to make a ramp that reaches a porch that's 30 inches up. So how long does your ramp need to be? Draw that as a right triangle. So we got a 5 degree angle, we got a 30 inch rise, and we want to know how long the ramp is, that would be the hypotenuse. So we've got opposite and hypotenuse, that means use sine. So sine of 5 degrees three equals opposite over hypotenuse, so that's 30 over x. Need to cross multiply, that means move the x to the other side, and then probably divide by sine 5, um, and put in the calculator. So when you cross multiply, you get x equal x times sine 5 equals 30, then divide by sine 5 degrees, so you get x equals 30 divided by sine 5 degrees, and you come up with, your ramp needs to be 300 and... 44.2, uh, 344 inches long. If you want to know how many feet that is, divide by something, right? All right. So we're back. We're still with this ramped kind of thing. Um, you got a 96 inch board. Yeah, it's eight foot long. It's a typical four by eight board. Um, you want to make a ramp that goes 20 inches up. So we got to find out what angle that would make to see if that's enough board to make something go 20 inches up. So draw it, and let's find what we got. So you should have something that looks like that. You got 96 on the hypotenuse. You got 20 there. You got an X at the corner because we want to know what the corner is, um, the angle. So the opposite hypotenuse. We got sine. Set up sine. So you got sine of X equals 20 over 96. How do you undo a sine with a sine inverse? That second function sine button on the calculator. So the sine inverse on the left cancels the sine. The sine inverse on the right means do sine inverse of 20 over 96. So x equals sine inverse of 20 over 96, which is 
is x equals 12 degrees, which means, no, you, that's not a legal ramp. Um, so, if that's what you're trying to do for wheelchairs, that would not be enough board.